plan, consider and prepare the following. Airline or bus ticket. Documents from your own local government unit, LGU, e.g. Travel pass, acceptance letter, swab test. I purchased my airline ticket on Air Asia on the second day of my quarantine to get a cheaper price. Consider to give an updated email as most of the flights will be disrupted due to pandemic. If that happens, you are allowed to change or move the day of your flight depending on your schedule. My flight is also on the 10th day of my quarantine and day of my release my documents came on time. Your airline will also provide the necessary travel requirements on your email address. Different LGUs and municipalities have different requirements better call them directly to get the precise requirements you have to comply. You have to send an email to your LGUs in advance as it takes time for them to reply or call them directly to comply the requirements before your flight. I got my LGUs contact on their FB page. On day 2 of your quarantine, PADLAB will confirm and verify the informations you've entered. When you registered, be sure to write the exact email address hotel's address and date of your arrival. Day 6 will be the swab testing. Present your PadLab form, receipt and passport. On day 7 to 9 you'll receive the result, if the result doesn't come with the BOQ certificate. Send an email to this address I provided and fill out the information. The BOQ certificate will be sent 10 p.m. the same day you got the swab result. This is the confusing part as mandated you must present or report to the LGU for the remaining four days quarantine but the LGU doesn't have the prot call about it. I reconfirm that it's okay to proceed to home quarantine without reporting it. Even so finish the mandatory quarantine for safety. I came from Manila to Cebu particularly in Lapu-Lapu and I am now free and done with my 14 days quarantine.